Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do a little vector addition with some forces. So we've got this crate, and this crate is being pulled to the right with a force of 85 newtons. Okay, so this force to the right is 85 newtons. It's being pulled to the left with a force of 115 newtons. It's being pulled upward with a force of 600, or sorry, 565 newtons and pulled down with the force of 236 newtons. Part A says to find the net external force in the x direction. So first we're going to learn a little bit about how to write this. We say the net external force. I'm going to use this capital sigma here. And that means the net force, the overall force. Well, it means the overall. And then when I put the F behind it, it means the overall force. And then when I put a little sub x, it means the overall force in the x direction. So that's how I use the notation. So we're going to find the net force in the x direction. And that's pretty simple. We're just going to look at the picture. We've got a force going to the left. We've got a force going to the right. They're going in opposite directions. So I'm going to say the left is the negative direction. So I'm going to make that a negative 115 newtons plus the right, I'm saying, is the positive direction, 85 newtons. And I'm going to get a net force of negative 70 newtons. So I'm going to say the net force in the x direction is negative 70 newtons. And the negative simply means it's going to the left. So I could also say the net force in the x direction is 70 newtons left. Okay, so I could write it either way. The second part says find the net external force in the y direction. So I'm going to use the same notation. The net force in the y direction is equal to. And I'm going to look at those. Well, I've only got two of them going in the y direction. I've got one going up with a force of 565 newtons, one going down with a force of 236 newtons. So again, they're opposites. So one's positive, one's negative. We typically say up is positive, so I'll leave that positive, 560, 565 newtons plus negative 236 newtons is equal to 329 newtons. And notice it's positive, so that means it's going in the upward direction. So I'm going to say up here, the net force in the y direction is 329 newtons. It's positive, so going up. Or I could say the net force in the y direction is equal to 329 newtons upward. Okay, so I could write it either way. Okay, now part C. Part C is a little trickier. Part C says find the magnitude and direction of the net external force on the crate, the overall external force. Okay, so I want to add all four of these vectors together. Now, remember we did the card activity in class. We figured out we can add the vectors in whatever order we'd like. So we've kind of already done a little bit. We added the x direction, we added the y direction. So now I'm simply going to add the net forces in the x and the net force in the y to get my net force overall. So let's go ahead and draw a picture. Start out. I'm going to say I've got 70 newtons to the left. So I'm going to pick my starting point right here and draw a vector to the left and label it as 70 newtons. And then to that vector, I'm going to add my y component, 329 newtons upward. Remember, when you add vectors, you have to start the second vector where the first one finished. So I'm going to go upward. This isn't quite to scale, um, but we're going to go 300 and 29 newtons. And now the question is, what is the overall net force? So here, when I add the vectors, I need to find this magnitude, the magnitude of this hypotenuse here that I've drawn in, and the direction. And this is a hypotenuse because I went left and then up, so I made a 90 degree angle there. So what is the overall net force? Notice I'm not putting an X or an a Y because it's just the overall net force. Well, look at this triangle and I realize, hey, I've got two sides of a right triangle. If I want to find the length or the magnitude of the missing side, I'm simply going to use Pythagorean theorem. 
So a squared, which is, so a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the legs. So I'm going to have 329 squared plus 70 squared equals my net force squared. So 329 squared, 108,241 plus 70 squared, 4,900 is equal to the net force squared. Add those two together. 113,141 is equal to the net force squared. Take the square root of both sides. 336 and 36 hundredths newtons. So I've found the magnitude. Okay, magnitude right there. But we also need the direction. So the direction I am going to label in here as theta. Okay, I'm going to put the theta where the starting point was. And I'm going to find that angle. So to find that angle, we're going to use the trigonometric functions again. We either need to use sine, cosine, or tangents. So we can look at our memory aids up here. I actually know all three sides now, but I'm going to choose the ones that were labeled originally. So this side, which is adjacent to the angle, and that side, which is opposite. So adjacent and opposite, I'll use the tangent function. So the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite, 329, over the adjacent, 70. I need to get theta out of this trig function, so I need to use the inverse tangent to get the trig function to cancel out. And I always do the same thing to both sides of my equation. On the left side, I'll be left with theta. On the right side, I type in my calculator the inverse tangent of 329 divided by 70. It's 77.99 degrees, so basically 78 degrees. All right, so now this is my complete answer.